Whoa! Oh my God, boys, we've done it again. Yeah, we've 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 done what they said we couldn't. We hit the go live button. I think I'm too zoomed in. What do you guys think? Yes, I think I, I think would you're agree. a little too zoomed in. Oh, but good news, I can't fix it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that is good news. Good. Um, we got lots of chats already. Ryan Michael says chains for the supple boys and Abigail for making Leto night happen and Ryan for allowing it. This was Ryan's idea. I think, wasn't it Ryan? Uh, well, no, I think it was Abigail suggested it. And then I oh, said, okay. fine, I'll do it. Oh, great. Okay. Leto good. night. This is Leto night in celebration of the rapidly Morbius. approaching Morbius release. And it's Tonight. already, yeah. And it's already, uh, celebrating uh the the rotten tomato score that's dropped and it's uh sparkling i uh, uh i have some leto news in my life oh fantastic oh, yeah? let us know i watched um house of gucci last night oh shit how'd it go <laughs> have you seen it no <laughs> uh he's very he's actually good okay is, is he <laughs> yes he he was he was he was charming but i have a question Yes. Yeah. Why didn't they just get somebody that actually looks like that to play it? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's I more. Aw- I think it's more. I think it's more awardsy if you get a guy who's going to be a chameleon and do a whole fat suit and, a, and an accent. I thought you were definitely going to talk about you know the fact that his his whole character is pretty much just like this caricature <laughs> because the family didn't the family come out and say like no nah, that's that's bad <laughs> yeah I think he I mean it, he just was doing a cartoon in the middle of the mm-hmm. movie I mean I also yeah. oh I also watched the first episode of We Crashed hmm how was that uh not good okay. Um, <laughs> Very strangely not good because it takes a long time to realize it's not good because there's such star power in it. Okay. You know, Anne Hathaway and yeah. uh, and Morbius himself. Mm. And there's other stuff. I, saw, I saw the trailer thing for that where somebody's like, you're not God, Jared Leto. And then he goes, no, but I look like him. <laughs> well, it's another it movie. It's That's like, awesome. He, he makes himself look unattractive in it. And uh-huh. it's like, why did we have to do this? Like, he he didn't have to wear a prosthetic nose. The guy that that he's playing is a decent looking dude. Like, it mm-hmm. would have been fine if he just had his nose normal. Sure, <laughs> but he's a chameleon, Ryan. That's what you have to understand about him. He disappears into. I mean, role. anybody's a chameleon if they wear <laughs> a prosthetic. Prosthetics. Nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, I guess that's true in a way. All right, um, we got some good stuff here. Move the car, Sal. Hey, Silver Boys. Hey, Ryan. Looking forward to the chat tonight. Hello. Me too. Glad to be back on stream with everybody this week. Sorry, my frame rate's fucked uh, once mm. again. Um, likewise, old school, old school player. Can Ryan <laughs> give a Will Smith slap to one of the Supple Boys? Yeah, just so everybody knows, it's not Leto Night. We're going to spend four hours discussing all sides and opinions of the Will Smith slap. We're I will say, recapping. Right. We, we've, heard, we've heard it ad nauseum. <laughs> But mm-hmm. I still get caught up in conversations about it. And yeah, <laughs> about it's it. insane. <laughs> that's why it's so. Believe. That's why it's so exhausting. Oh my god! This is like the one year I was like, I'm not fucking watching the Oscars. No, I can't do mm-hmm. it. I don't want to do it. And then they were like, Hey, by the way, this is the craziest fucking Oscars that's ever happened. <laughs> well, I turned it on two minutes before it happened. Wow! Like I was, we were like, Oh yeah, those are on because we were watching some. We were watching that We Crash show. And I was like, why are we wasting our time on this? The Oscars are on. And I turn it on. That happens. And then, like, I was amped. I couldn't go to sleep. Uh, are you kidding I me? Had, dude, I, I had everyone in my life called me about it. Like, it was like a, a national disaster. Like, like, like all of my mm-hmm. friends contacted me about it. And my family called me about it. And everybody's like, are you seeing this? Like, it's, just like, it's, not that many. it's, it's pretty nuts. Um, like and here we are. We got dragged thing, into it. It's yeah. yeah it's are. one thing for my man to be screaming from the seats, but to get all the way up to his face and still slap him is uh, wow. Are you seeing red? I know it gets <laughs> it gets weirder as time goes on. I feel like I oh, guess yeah. that's the main thing. It's like know. it's hard to. It's gonna be hard for people to present at the Oscars after that because it's like now anybody can do anything. It shows how bad the security is. <laughs> like it's. <laughs> it's <laughs> um, I don't think anyone's yeah, don't really. Know. Well, it's, it's just a room full of 
just all the people that are either nominated or have worked on the things that are nominated. Right. So I don't think anybody's worried, even if they do rush the stage. It's like, oh, that'll be like a fun little bit that happens. Mm-hmm. But oh, fuck. Oh, I did have goodness. to. I did do my traditional thing, which is my favorite thing to do, which is I go to the any time anything happens in the world that's important, you go to the Reddit conspiracy board. Oh yeah. And they don't they don't believe anything that <laughs> yeah. ever happened this year. This is all to boost oh, the yeah. ratings, baby. It's and a, they're it's like a Yeah, the, my favorite take on there was just one person who went on there and said, My cousin was doing security for the Oscars and they told him beforehand that there was gonna be an altercation between Chris Rock and Will Smith and not to go on stage. And then an entire thread of like a hundred posts of people just going with that as though that was the fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. See, I knew it. They were all like, oh, yeah. (laughs) My favorite thing too is that this has opened up all of these like branching debates now that are still trending and shit. Like it's like Zoe Kravitz is now getting canceled for the shit. And it's like, it's just like never stops. It keeps unfolding. Look, you're nightmare. not gonna, you're not, a, you're not canceling Zoe Kravitz. She is on a rocket ship right now. <laughs> They're trying, Listen, man. Everyone, um, everyone's asking, like, Will Smith went up there, he did it. How can he do that? And I think what people are forgetting is that at that price point, he can hit. He can, in fact, <laughs> hit. <laughs> oh my God. At the price point that he was at, he can hit. I don't like this, Griffin. All right. <laughs> new topic. New topic. Listen, how about I get some folks in here? How about that? All right. That sounds good. How about we get, get Abigail? Hey. Hello, Ooh. Abigail. Hi, Abigail. Danny is here. Mr. Ryan Michael, the man himself. Uh, oh, my God. Tyler, my who, has the, who <laughs> has the how can he slap bit in the name? <laughs> Beautiful. He came prepped as what, well. Ju- wasn't it just a second ago? Wasn't it uh, a name from House of Gucci, Tyler? That's what, yeah, <laughs> it was, yeah. It was it Paolo it. Gucci. I'm like, you know That's what? Right. I got to stay relevant. That's right. <laughs> Andy That's right. is here as well. And Bobby, you're in the green room, but you ain't got any of your stuff on. Um, if you're looking to just hang out, that is fine for now. Um, but we also have the private chat uh, if you uh, mm-hmm. need to. Can I say for the record that I just meant I meant Morbius as a joke? <laughs> well, you can't, out. you can't. You're going to win this guys. one, Abigail. Brandon Sears. <laughs> We've rigged it for you. <laughs> no, I already. Time, no, no Buscemi uh, eyes. I feel like this yeah. one's going to be like the real primo gift. No. Oh yeah. Um, I, this does look fucking awesome, by the way. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it really yeah. really does. <laughs> And um, I posted really some good. Morbius fan art earlier. Did you? Mm, on that. what? On uh, Twitter? Uh, Twitter and yeah. the uh, Discord server. Nice. I'll check nice. it out. I didn't see it yet. No. I'm going to look at it right now. Let me pull it up. Which which channel? Is yeah, it you know the what? fan art channel? Grab it, yep. Griffin, and put it up on the screen. You can do it. Oh, I'm I'm yeah, you can do that, Griffin. Oh, oh. oh, Danny's holding it up. Oh, oh Danny's oh. sick, dude. Nice. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. I'll try to ink along with the... Uh, Ryan, even That's though right. I'm, I'm oh. doing digital, so definitely not as. Griffin can try and pull that up real quick. I want to go around. Who watched Moon Knight? Oh, Ooh. I did not watch it yet. I'm excited Oof. about that. Most people it. have seen Moon Knight. All right, let's 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 just do some light non-spoilery because I just want to say I thought it was fucking incredible. I loved it so much. Yeah. But what did you guys uh, think? I would say um, I got some thumbs up. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty positive, I think, overall. It's an interesting sort of tonal balance, I think, happening. Um, but uh, quite disorienting, and I was glad that they didn't really... Uh, there was a couple of points where it felt like... Uh, for So for me, watching it and knowing conceptually like Moon Knight's deal was one thing, but my uh, roommate who was watching it doesn't know jack shit about Moon Knight and was like, Wow, I am so lost, but I love it. And I'm like, okay, okay. So, like, generally speaking, people who have no idea about Moon Knight are like, uh, they they're not immediately like catching on to the. Well, see, I had the, the same experience idea. with me and me and my fiance because she didn't know anything about the character, and then and mm-hmm. she like immediately was like, oh, it's like different personalities. Like, like, like she yeah. she immediately was like catching on to it. So, like, I I don't know. I don't I don't think it's that crazy, but it is like. I think by the end of the episode, it's pretty clear. But uh, yeah. at first, it is a little disorienting. Um, I thought the needle drops were a little. It felt like. You know, it's like, what if we played some 60s music over this as a juxtaposition? 
You're getting Here's a little the problem, specific. though. It was not from the 60s. <laughs> that Engelbert Humperdinck track was from 1972. Come on, Marvel. Uh, come on, Marvel, come for on. Christ's sake. But yeah, you um, could forget that the show takes place in the MCU because it doesn't mention anything. <laughs> Yeah, it's honestly, it's kind of nice. Uh, I, I was glad to not be, to just like sink into Moon Knight and his whole deal instead right. of getting caught up in where is this in you know the timeline and all that sort of stuff, continuity. I'm really excited by how, again, not, you know, spoiling, but I'm really excited by how violent it is because it's very like visceral in a way that I think is really cool when you're messing with crazy Egyptian God, like, like, like kind of supernaturally shit. Like it had a bit of that daredevil grit to it in a way that like when mixed with the crazy shit is like really exciting to me. Yeah, well, you would. You're yeah. a very violent individual, Ethan. He, I gotta I'm, calm you down yeah, all but the time. you didn't slice anybody's face off like in the comics, you know? Not yet. My Let's favorite go. part was as with as any time I read a Moon Knight run, like I never know where the hell is gonna go. Because <laughs> everyone mm-hmm. everyone treats Moon Knight like however they want. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was the same thing with the show. Like, I don't know where this is going, and it, right. I can't. I can't even pinpoint. Like, oh, this is right. from this specific run or whatever. Yeah, there's a lot of things sprinkled in from a lot of things, but yeah, but this feels like a whole new thing overall. Yeah, it's there, all shuffled. Oh, go ahead, Ryan. I was just gonna say, is there a definitive Moon Knight? Like, which one we all agree on, or is it still nobody's found the the exact right Moon Knight? Jeff oh, I Lemire. think um, writing or art. I would say the latter. Yeah. No one's Writing. really decided on the, yeah. on the concrete version. Yeah, like modern, I like guess everyone always goes with like, you know, the Ellis stuff or the Lemire stuff. That's the one yeah. I always, you know, the two I've yeah. always heard about is those two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, think well, I, love, I, love the, I, I particularly love the Bendis one. I think the Bendis one is really cool. That's an underrated one, yeah. 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 I, I think like because of. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead, Ryan Michael. I was just going to say, I, I like God that. Damn Ryan it, Michael Ryan Bendis, Michael. You know? Don't talk over Griffin. Hot take. <laughs> Bendis is pretty Jesus. good. Is is my Bendis two is cents. pretty good. I like him. Go ahead. Um, I was just going to say because of the confusion of his multiple personalities, I think it's almost like the Joker, where there's almost a satisfaction that you don't know what's going on. Mm. So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. The, I think um, that's part of the fun of the episode is getting swept up in the madness of it. Um, like as a pilot, like holy shit, it just keeps unfolding interesting shit that I want to see explored for a whole season. Like, because some mm. of them you could argue it's like Hawkeye. I could have seen Hawkeye as a movie and stuff like that. But Moon Knight, I'm like, yeah, give me a bunch of hours of exploring all of this. It's very exciting. Yeah, well, that's stuff from the uh, Ellis run, which is like those Marvel Now covers. I don't know. Those just mm. really those just stick out in my mind as like from that initiative sure. specifically, sure. those covers were so uh, grabbing and we've uh, had the opportunity to talk with Mr. Declan Shelley, of course, uh, who's yes. uh, the best. Um, and obviously his stuff on Moon Knight is fucking awesome. Um, but let's talk about, let's talk about Abigail's Morbius piece that I'm about to throw up on this. Oh, for Look at that. that. That is oh wow, that's fantastic. awesome. I love the that's pose. very cool. Oh, that is cool. Mm-hmm. You like need to give him the suckers on his hands from the 90s yes, show. He's gotta the get the he's gotta, no, he's no. gotta get the, the plasma. He's doing it's the, an interesting uh, the Mickey take Rourke on pose from the war from a uh, from uh, what's that the wrestler at the end of the movie. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. he is. Yeah, that's fantastic. No, no suckers on his hands this Bo. time. Bo. How do you get all the way up there? Well, he's 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 jumping. He's got the he's got the wings like the bat. The cape is very the shape of the cape. He can jump I very appreciate. high. Can he, can he fly or does he just glide? I don't remember. He's got he he's glide. got all he's the powers of a airplane. of a bat, Danny. And he's got some which sort in of the new movie seems to mean radar. turning into a, a yeah bat radar. He seems to be able to turn into a cloud of bats. Yes, um, potentially. <laughs> you can do the Twilight thing where you move in a weird vapor pattern until you're a real guy. I don't know. There's a lot going on sure. there. Yeah. Does he sparkle of the sun though? That's what I'm wondering. Ooh. You better. That would be, that would be sexy for sure. Potentially. Um, I wanted to um, point out this um, comment. Zach says, I heard Marvel uh, editing violence now, like in Falcon <clears throat> and Winter Soldier. Oh, that was um, a glitch. Apparently. Yeah. We were talking it. about it's, this. It's back. We, it's, we were talking only, about this. It's only if you lock your account. Like now you can choose to have a mature account. Mm hmm. Or, right. or not. So if you have the non-mature account, you get the edited out violence. This is what we were talking about, though. Is like, so are they going to film all these shows with alternate versions that are that are less violent, and you can switch between the two? 
Listen, because if that's, so, that's insane. That's insane, <laughs> but it's also like, you know, we've we've long talked about when if Marvel Studios is going to get into some darker shit, especially when they acquired Fox and they got characters mm-hmm. like Deadpool that they want to try and use and it's like Oh, obviously, at some point they're going to have to, and they seem to be embracing, uh, you know, the defenders again. And it seems like Moon Knight could potentially go that direction. And I think, especially if it's going direct to Disney Plus, that's kind of the best of both worlds. Is like, yeah, you want kids to still be able to enjoy this stuff because it's that is technically the target audience <laughs> for mm-hmm. comic book material and so yeah um having a version that you can show them and sit down with them and watch and enjoy and not have to worry about and then also having the stuff that like the older viewers are kind of hoping is in there um i don't know that's no, insane yeah, it's, it's interesting but... i don't I, it's crazy i don't hate it but it just <laughs> is like an interesting new era of entertainment yeah. and also and also feels like it might call into question what exactly is canon in some situations because that yeah. one example that's been going around is like the guy's certainly dead in one image, and then another one he looks like he's knocked unconscious. And so it's like it feels like it's going to call into question who are murderers and how much they murder, and, and it's like a Maybe. lot of questions from that. Maybe that's, that's, that's the problem with with like a, a world beyond physical media is that the fact that it's all digital means that whatever is canon is kind of like what they decide at that point, whatever content they want to present to to viewers. Like back in the day, you'd have like you know. The Blu-ray release, we'd have like maybe some alternate cuts, but usually it's mm. you have your main, you know, movie or TV show. But now mm-hmm. they don't mm-hmm. really do physical media. Like Coda just won Best Picture. That's the only movie I've seen so far that doesn't have a like a Blu-ray listed at the time right. that it has won Best Picture. Because like, what do you do right. as like a, a viewer in Middle America? It's like, oh, this Coda movie just won Best Picture. I want to buy it. I can't. All right. right. Guess I'm not going to get Apple TV Plus because. Like right. ten dollars a month. Who the fuck? It's crazy too, because the, it's crazy too, because they can just patch shows now, like they do video yeah. games, where it's like they took out the jeans DLC. guy from Mandalorian and stuff. Yeah, it's nuts. Oh yeah, um, they, when Kanye put out one of his albums, I was listening to it a bunch, and then the next day, one of the songs was just completely different. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? <laughs> and it well, was just because he he decided he wanted to put a different version of it out. It's all like a streamlined version of what George Lucas starts with the special editions, right? Like the fact that he can just go back and change the version. I'm actually watching um, Star Wars like all the way through uh, with my partner right now. And uh, we had gotten to, of course, Jedi Rocks is the musical number that he added (laughs) to Return of the Jedi in the 90s. And it's so out of place. And, um, And I had to explain like, yeah... There's like different versions and he's gone back and he's added this and now it's the only one you can't see whatever the hell it was before. This is this is what it is now and this is what it will be forever, uh, assumably. Um, and Which versions of the Library of Congress? It's my question. I know that they archived it. So I what think, version do they have? Well, I think actually, I don't know if um, Empire and Jedi are in the Library of Congress. I know they did A New Hope. Um and I think it's the um, special edition. <laughs> I don't know if it is the actual theatrical version, which George, George is insane. George sent them an updated copy. He's like, can you guys change it up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is wild. And it's just like, um, I think we're going to start seeing that more and more often, like you're saying, Tyler, with the, the sort of expedience that all of this exclusive <clears throat> streaming stuff sort of gives them. They can just change the file overnight and now... And now you're That's watching it. Justice League instead of Zack Snyder's, or you're watching the Justice is Grey edition only now. I don't know. They did with comics too, right? They made the Batman disappear. What? They they do with comics too. They made the the Bat Wiener disappear back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they did. Oh, yeah, yeah. What Bat Wiener? Uh, exactly. I heard that people were people were saying that they were. Because you can do with Comixology, I guess you can like update your comics, and pe- oh, there are people yep. saying like, "I will never update my issue of Batman Damned." Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> JP's hold on in to the that chat, image. by the way, Ryan. JP. JP's here. JP, the man. He says, "Hey, how great of an inker we have here." Uh, hmm. <laughs> JP is the is my inker that I work with, and he's amazing, and he's been turning in some awesome stuff that you guys are gonna see soon. Some of it. I did put on the Discord today, so... Oh, yeah, yeah I love page is dope. 
Yeah, it looks great. Well, surprise drop from Mr. Stegman there. If you're interested in some Vanish pages, they are floating around our Discord server. So if you're not already a part of the KLC Press Discord server, um, I'll drop a link in the chat in just a moment for you. And we encourage you guys to come and join the community because it's it's the best. Can we all agree? It's great. Indeed. It's fun. Yeah. All right. What well. is Discord? <laughs> what is Discord? Are you being serious? Right chat room. I'm like not it's being. Like, it's like a oh, better I'm, I'm being Slack. Serious. Uh, so Discord yeah. what, is. Um... What's Slack? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Slack was the, was the thing to. It's business throw Discord. In. Yeah, yeah. Discord is a uh, is I hesitate to call it a social media, but um, it is a uh, it's pretty much just a big chat room. You join various chat rooms that are broken down into various uh, channels, which are different threads that you can all hop into and uh, chat about nonstop, uh, just constantly going. Um, and so it's not like you're all commenting on a specific thing, but everyone's just talking about various things and various threads, and it's a lot of fun. Um, what I'm thinking I might do is I might start just, like, popping in and doing live talks during the day when I'm working and uh, just occasionally if, if people are around, I guess. I don't know how you get notified if that happens, but, you know. You, yeah, we can schedule events on Discord and everybody get notified. Okay. Cool. Well, the, the scheduling of the event would be counter counterproductive to the fact that Ryan will just want to hop in when. Oh, yeah. I, guess <laughs> I think everyone I mean, can you get can notified. Just spam it and just go like, yeah, yeah. at everyone. At really everyone. Yeah, at everyone. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's right. I, f I remember doing that. There is a link to the Discord in the chat. It looks like maybe it only went through on Facebook. I don't know. No, maybe Twitch as well. I can't actually. I see it on. See. I see it on Twitch and YouTube. Beautiful. Yeah, it's on YouTube now. Great. So if you guys are watching on one of those services, uh, you feel free. And holy shit, I can hear you coming in. Hello. <laughs> welcome to the server. Oh. Um, hell yeah. Well, welcome. Um, it's been pretty good. Let's uh, let's go around the bend. Let's talk about some stuff, I think. Um, of course, we've already hit some of the big topics of the week. Let's go, Leto is coming to Oh, I'm head. sorry. I, I want to okay, ask really quick, because sure. we're not, we're not, we're not going to run through the Morbius post credit scenes, but <laughs> the director has said what they are and they're out there on the internet. And why and do I, you like just I said, say what the post credits of your movie are as the director? That's a, I, that's a choice. There, he just stopped lot, giving two shits. There's a lot of questions. All right. But, but my question is, we're not going to talk about what's in them because some, some people won't want to know. Has anybody, does anybody besides me, Griffin and Ryan know what happens in the post credit scene? Has anybody read about it yet? No. Yeah, okay. spoiled it for me. Okay, on a scale of one to insanity, how insane are these things? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's yeah. really just confusing. Confused. And I'm gonna be yeah. seeing the movie in an hour and a half. Yeah, okay. let's go. Right. So that it's means like... I'm I'm gonna be bailing a little bit early. That's right. uh, well, well as it's, long as it's, it's for a good cause. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like Ethan the director and I just said, "You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts." And I was like, uh, "All right, director." That's exact. That's <laughs> a very good foreshadow, right there, Tyler. Um, <laughs> Ethan and I, as big of Leto fans, as big of Morbius fans as we are, and and mm -hmm. and for as excited as we are for the film's release tonight, Ethan and I have made the difficult decision mm. to wait to see the film mm. until we can see it together in uh arizona when i fly down for ethan's wedding that's essentially um, gonna oh, be shit. my is bachelor that, party yeah that's gonna be a thing that happens wedding, we're gonna watch morbius i guess it's um, the night before when do you fly in tyler the night before the day of, <laughs> day of i think well i don't know we'll that's figure it the out. that's the bachelor party is we're going to see <laughs> morbius <laughs> hey hey since i can't go to the wedding i'm gonna um auction off uh, my my uh invitation <laughs> okay interesting that's in the that's in the raffle tonight yeah, yeah you can, all right. you can raffle comment on it you can something comment. completely random what, what what would morbius think about blood bending Ooh, he'd be all about it wouldn't he he'd be like oh this is so convenient this is so much easier all, only the um the goat subscribers are in the running to win an invitation to my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's part of the KLC prize pack. That's right. Um, yeah. It'll, yeah. It'll be the first thing I win since I'm a goat subscriber. 
Let's mm. go. What's the well, uh, what's everybody you. think about the Spider-Man news today from the comics? The Ben Riley news. Looks pretty tight. Wait, what happened? Yeah. Character assassination. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't hear, can you guys throw me in? I mean, it already happened though in the past. Like Ben Riley's just a character like punching back at this point. Wait, so ben yeah. Riley's a yeah. clone? What? <laughs> <laughs> what a spoiler. Yeah. Um, what are we talking about? What happened? I don't know what happened yet. I haven't read. Um, I, I haven't read this week's issue yeah, not yet, yet, but I saw some saw some art that looked pretty fire. Um, yeah. Who's doing this week's Gleason? He designed he, the new he guy. Is Gleason. The um, what is it? Um, Chasm. Chasm it looks tight. <laughs> I, I must say, I'm pretty uh, pretty into it uh, design wise at least. But I have not read it yet. That looks cool. Is it cool? Has somebody read this week's issue? I did. I liked it. Is it hype? It was fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, the thing is, though, like, I read the, like, entire Beyond storyline, and I was yeah. pretty happy with the conclusion, so I felt like it was, like, a nice send-off to, like, this whole Beyond era of Spider-Man. Right. Yeah. But I'm excited to read it, because, yeah, cool. I, think, I think Beyond on, as a, on, on the whole has been pretty solid. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, you just got so many great creators uh, on board. And um, even though I think three times a month is a little fucking exhausting, um, yeah. uh, it's still, you know, they got enough blood on the team, enough fresh blood. Um, that's always good to be like rotating in and out. It makes it a lot more manageable. Interesting you say blood, Griffin. Oh my God. <laughs> Interesting you say blood, Griffin. <laughs> It just is a little on brand for this it's week. That's pretty all good. I'm saying. There, pretty but. good. Um, let's go around the bend. Let's talk to some folks. Um, oh, also, do I have room? Nigel, Nigel's here. Hey, Nigel. Hi, what Nigel. Up? Hey. Sorry, I just it's saw you poking at the at the bottom of my screen there. Um, uh, <laughs> Griffin hasn't read a comic. How abnormal! Watching the test. Fucking bottom. Holy shit. That's yeah, Griffin, good. have you read Watchmen yet? Uh, no. Uh, no, I okay, haven't read Watchmen yet. Um, let's go around the bend. Abigail? Didn't you, wait, didn't you just say that you were watching through Star Wars again, though? Yes. Huh. All right. Because well. he's got priorities, Ethan. Someone's got something. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, a yeah. thing I'm sharing with in, uh, uh, in my relationship. That's a thing he's sharing with his hostage. <laughs> <laughs> She might be watching this, so. No, see, this is what this is when they say yub nub. Okay, you pay attention. <laughs> this this is important. They changed it. It used to be yub nub, and now it's celebration. Hold on, hold on. I'll pull it up on YouTube. I'll show you a one comparison. Sec, one sec, one sec. They used to say yub nub. I swear to God. <laughs> the and they didn't changed. blink. They didn't fucking blink. I don't know why they fucking blink now. <laughs> you care about this, right? <laughs> see, that was Sebastian Shaw in the original version, but now it's Hayden. Just fucking bullshit. I'm angry about it for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I fucking only know the version with Hayden Christensen, so why would I give a shit? Also, I met him. Do you want to see the photo? Oh, I've shown you the photo. Okay, oh. but do you want to see it again? You saw me put it up on the wall the other day? Oh, it's right <laughs> yeah, there. Charles it's right Soul. there on the wall Charles now. Soul was so <laughs> close. Charles Soul was going to be in that photo, but then he was busy. Oh, Charles you don't know who Charles Soul is? Fucking well, Charles Soul. <laughs> <laughs> Here, hold on. Let's, uh, you got to start reading through the High Republic stuff. I'll get you a. I'll put it together for you. So you got to start with. You got to start, start with. Start at Indian. Start at a few hundred years before the prequels. <laughs> so this guy named like Darth Plagueis, and he's very wise. Uh, <laughs> dude, I don't know. That's like my fucking favorite moment in the in the prequels is that moment when he knows he's got Anakin by the fucking balls and he just turns to him he's like not from a Jedi oh, fuck. not from a Jedi <laughs> the opera <laughs> uh, Abigail hey besides you know Morbius and Moon Knight and all the things we've already talked about is there anything you've been watching or reading this week? That... Oh, um, also been catching up on Legend of Korra, finished season two. Mm. Have you not seen it before? We talked about this. You hadn't seen it, right? No, it took yeah. me so long to see it. And, and thoughts? Yeah, I liked it, but I still have to wait for seasons three and four to drop on Netflix because they only got the mm. first two. Oh, you, don't, you should get a VPN trial and just pop over to US Netflix. I think that we got it all. Yeah, but I watch it on my smart TV, so... Got you, got you. Are you in Canada? Is that where you're at? Yeah. yeah. I forgot. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. 
I, um, I was a few episodes from finishing season three of, of Legend of Korra, and then I just stopped, and I haven't gotten back to it yet. I should finish it at some point. And then you should. And then you know, season early three has lost up, me a little bit, but. Then you know, earlier I brought up the blood bending thing. I would totally be a blood bender. Uh, yeah, wow. that's kind of intense. Interesting. <laughs> Only when the full moon is out. I mean, it sounds badass. So I don't. It, it is I badass. I want you to get out of it. It is I badass. Know. I will say. Um, season two. Ryan, have, Ryan, have you seen Avatar? Uh, I've watched some of it. Like I, I don't, I don't know the lore. But mm. I've watched some of it with my kids. We should do an Avatar piece since you're such a fan. That'd uh, one be of fun. these times on the stream. Um, there was a fun joke about it in Moon Knight. <laughs> there was yeah. yes, some very on, not super topical pop culture references, but uh, mm-hmm. that's, you know, that's they they did a Finding Nemo reference. I was like, okay. less <laughs> less uh, topical than GI Jane. Oh no! <laughs> oh, we're back! Oh no! Fuck. I see, Sean. I can see you down in the green room. I have too many people on screen oh, right now. But yeah, I actually Sean have to like bail that. now. Okay, Abigail's right. popping out to go Morby, see Morbius. Yes, Morbius. Yes. Let's right. go. Yeah, Larry, sorry, Larry, yes, sorry go, I couldn't stay longer, but yeah, I have no to go now. No worries. Be sure let to pop into the, on the Discord. Yeah, 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 Discord. Right. And have a magical know. time. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Later, Abigail. Bye. All right, Abigail's out. Sean's in. What up, Sean? What up, what up, what up? Moon Pie everybody? Night. Moon Pie Night's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> of course. You could, like, bite into it just the right way, and that's, like, you know, his fucking logo. Um, uh, Danny, what have you been doing, sir? Also, uh, can you give us an update? Have you been doing your... Uh, have you been doodling over there? I have, yeah, yeah. Give me Let's a see it. Let's see it. Yep. 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 Gotta do the, gotta do the iPad. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Drop when you're done, or, you know, before we get to the end of the stream, just drop it in the Discord, and I'll be able to throw it on the screen here. Um, What you been doing? Reading, watching, listening to? There was so many good comics this week. Um, So I I have a channel, so I review stuff, and DC had a bunch of really good stuff, but, like, I read a lot of licensed books. There was a TMNT annual by uh, Juni Ba. It was really good. That All looked right. great. The art in that looked incredible. It's uh, it's so good. Um, there was a Buffy 25 anniversary special. That mm. Really good. Just a lot of How fun are those story. Buffy comics? Donnie's recommended those. He said he compared the new ones to like it's like Ultimate Buffy. What do you think of that? Yeah, the, the boom the boom relaunch is really good cuz you don't mm. have to like you can start from there. You don't have to yeah, you know, cool. they're not a, they're not anything from the show. Right. Um, there was a Sonic prequel to the movie that's coming yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did y'all hear Cuddy's new track? <laughs> no. I could I like just listening to it, I can already see the end credits of the movie with that oh, song shit. playing over it. It's like the minimalist fucking designs of like the character outlines and stuff racing around the screen. Can't it's wait. So incredibly predictable and I and it's yeah. funny I love because it. Cuddy, Cuddy was in the movie X. And you know what else mm-hmm. had an X at the end of it? Sonic X. <laughs> oh, oh my god. And and that's why we keep you around, Tyler. That's <laughs> oh some Illuminati god. stuff right there. <laughs> um so a lot I really of lights. I really want to go see X. Yeah. Me too. It was Me really too. good. It was really good. Sean okay. recommends. Um Absolutely. another A twenty four release coming down the pipe is everything everywhere all at once. I really want to see that. Yeah, Whoa. which I'm so okay, excited wait. about as a Ryan Stegman. Have you seen Swiss Army Man? Swiss Army Man. No, but, uh, oh, I like a lot of the stuff that A24 does. Have so you seen Daniel, Daniel, Daniel Dick Long? Have you seen the Turn Down for What music video? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the Daniels are fucking geniuses. They got oh, some shorts yeah. floating cuts, around. Or am out I thinking there. of the wrong director? No, I don't no. think they Who did. Who did many that? Books. I was thinking about that today. Because it's the best thing that's ever happened. Yeah, yeah. I want I want more <laughs> content from whoever made that. Agreed. That was from that uh that was from that TV show uh uh in the infomercial thing. Uh yeah, infomercials. Yes, it was yes. up. Broom shakalaka. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so the Daniels did broom shakalaka. That's okay. my confusion. Mm-hmm. Broom okay. shakalaka. By the way, watch broom shakalaka on YouTube if you haven't before. It's a trip. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
What's that got, bit in Too Many Cooks where they're doing the acronym for broth? It's like Brothers Realm of the Hellscape. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, good. I got so much joy out of showing Too Many Cooks to people that wouldn't get it. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Like, what is That's this? the best? What it, are it you was doing? By, uh, Casper Kelly, who did uh, Your Pretty Face Is Going to Hell. Oh nice. That's I didn't know that. No shit. Huh. Oh, Iker in the chat says, anyone watching Atlanta? Fuck, those first oh, two yeah. episodes. Yes! Those oh, my God, so yes. Good. Oh, so so good. Good. Did I see the second episode? Yes, I saw both of them. Yes, I love that oh show. That's my God. like top Incredible. five shows of all time. Absolutely. Very, very good show. Did you hear that uh, Obama's daughter is on the writing team now? Mm -hmm. Really? Is that true? Really? Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Malia Obama is on the, the staff. Sure. Did Ooh, did cool. anybody when the when um what's his face Lakeith Stanfield's character when he brings up that movie Food Fight did anybody go look up the trailer? <laughs> yeah. Wait, you guys don't know you don't know about Food <laughs> yeah. Fight, Ethan? Oh my god! I, I didn't before Atlanta, and um and so when he pointed it out, I went and watched the trailer and went down that rabbit hole and holy uh, shit! Yeah. Have you not <laughs> seen the classic Charlie Sheen movie Food Fight? I yeah, haven't, that, not that in its entirety. Level. It brings well, a lot of joy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the cue then for anybody who is unaware, the uninitiated, please go seek out Food Fight, food um, fight. as much as possible because it's, oh my fucking God, Christopher Lloyd, Christopher Lloyd's character is insane. <laughs> God, that's um, so weird. <laughs> it's a really upsetting. Um uh, Danny, anything else you, you got for uh, us? The only other thing, I need to watch the next episode of Halo. I really like the first one. Oh, yeah. How is I've that? been meaning to watch that. Yeah. Um, as somebody that I just played multiplayer, I never got into like the, the story or anything. Sure. Because uh, I'm was i not very good at shooting games. Uh, right. Like It was just fun to see those characters like live action and, and they look cool. Yeah, the story the story looks fun, um, but I mean, I don't know if it relates to anything that actually happened in the games or not. So, so you say you're not very good at shooting games, and yet you only played multiplayer, where basically the only thing I was you thinking have the same to do <laughs> is, be, <laughs> is be good at shooting. I, I only played because I, I played this at the time where my friends would actually come over with a with a second sure. Xbox. Oh, and nice! A table, Some couch. And we would all hang out in the garage. That's so yeah, awesome. I'm not as soon as as soon as it was open for like anyone online to play with me, I was like, nah. <laughs> yeah right yeah yeah okay yeah i feel you then i feel you well i know everybody wants to talk to me about the other paramount plus original star trek picard everybody today's episode everybody pretty crazy <laughs> right <laughs> okay 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 uh, okay just me did Worf get captured again Worf's not in it you fuck <laughs> 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 what right. an idiot Tyler is. All right. Shut oh, up, Tyler. Yeah. God damn it. Turn your camera off in shame. How is Picard? Um, the first season's pretty good. The it's a, first it's a bit of the of a... show. How's like how's John Luke doing these days? <laughs> <laughs> It can be it can be a mixed bag, but I like it overall. However, season four of Discovery that just ended was fucking great. I liked it a lot. Um, oh, and really? I'm super excited for Strange New Worlds. All those promos coming out for Strange New Worlds look insane. I'm really excited for that. Um, but um, we'll stop talking about that because it's not accessible, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ryan Michael, how you been, man? I'm good. How are you guys? good hanging in there Pretty you good. know um happy to be back on stream after last week when i went to the eagles concert which i know you were all very jealous about and let me tell you um yes joe walsh does still shred um yes. <laughs> I, know. I, I have a question you, griffin yes yes ryan uh how many milligrams <laughs> <laughs> sadly zero but i was several captain and cokes in um, okay. So it was a uh, it was one of those sorts of evenings. Um, no, no, just um, just my sort of uh, my traditional, you know, maybe a little Jack and Coke as well. Some get some dark liquor going and and uh, and it's it was awesome. There was a fantastic moment where they had some crypt, crypt keeper looking motherfucker come out and put the Hotel California vinyl on a record player and everybody cheered and then halfway through the set some woman in a flowing dress came out and flipped the record and everybody fucking cheered and, <laughs> and it was great it was that was fun. the entire show that was the entire show yeah um but ryan michael what have you been reading watching <laughs> uh well i picked up a bunch of comics i mean i i 
this has been picked up over the last couple of weeks, but I got a, a bunch it. of Stegmans worth having. Oh, so yeah. So I got Scorched. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I got Sabretooth. Number two is waiting for me. I got mm. the Ghost Rider variant, of course. Oh, oh my god. Um, and I got and let's end it on Vader for oh, yeah. talk, hey. talking about Star Wars. Hell yeah. And, and, and Griffin, I am I am probably as excited for you for the reason I'm sure you're rewatching Star Wars, uh, the Lego game. So Oh dude. Lego Star Wars wait. is out uh, in Very less excited. than a week. The pre order uh, is downloaded, ready to go on my Switch. I'm very mm. fucking excited. Uh, Got it on Switch? Ugh. Listen, you're not, I, I, to, you're not gonna be able to see this tattooing sand stuck to their little Lego feet. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm excited for the, the portability of it all, man. I want to yeah, be playing be. it while I'm fucking yeah, on the plane. While you're also your watching plane. Star Wars. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> while you're the 10 Switch is up their game. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan is correct. It's gonna be the best fucking thing. Also, I, uh, I can't wait for Kenobi. We're getting two episodes now. Let's fucking yeah. go! <laughs> I can't wait. I'm That's over very excited days. for all the Star Wars stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Ryan, you were gone uh, the time I showed off my Razor Crest, um, but Let's I got the Bring it like, life size Razor Crest. Oh, what is oh, oh, That's, wow, those fit some small people. So, well, not life size. <laughs> I meant detail is, is one awesome. to one, one to one with the figures, so the figures fit inside. It even wears a hat. That is I think they call dumb. it Mandalorian <laughs> shit. I actually, my brother's really into hats, but as I was looking at it, I was like, you know who I bet would like that? I bet Stegman would like that. Yeah, so that's Stegman just the, likes uh, a good cap. Uh, uh, well, it's just hat. black and white, which usually seems to be his his look. So yep. yeah, that's that the exact sort of shit Stegman would like. <laughs> <laughs> I just I have a weird thing. Where <laughs> Listen, once... I just want somebody to watch Star Trek so I can talk to them about it. <laughs> Do you watch uh, what's the what's the cartoon one? Not Prodigy, but the good one, Lower, Lower Decks. Yeah, Lower, Lower, Lower Decks. Decks. It's great. Yes, it's fantastic. <laughs> so we can we can talk about that, Ethan. Okay, listen, I'm going to open a Discord channel about Star Wars. Pretty much just be me in there. <laughs> and uh, I know you guys are always talking uh, Spider-Man castings and stuff, and I have a, I have a theory I, I tell some people, and, and some people just can't hear it or accept it. But when it comes to the first generation of casting for the females, I think they got it wrong. Okay. And I think they should have swapped Bryce Dallas and Kirsten Dunst. I think mm. Kirsten Dunst should have been Gwen Stacy. I so, thought you were going to say Kirsten Dunst should have been Aunt May and Rosemary <laughs> Harris. <should have> <laughs> <laughs> was, it Emma, was it Emma Watson, Gwen Stacy? Emma, Emma Stone? That's later. I mean, Emma Stone, sorry. Yeah, no, oh, okay. that was the, the Amazing okay. Universe. In the first universe, they had a blonde play a redhead, and they had a redhead play a blonde. Mm -hmm. gotcha. and, mm -hmm. and at the time, Bryce Dallas Howard was one of the most stunning redheads on the planet. So, like, if you see what she looked like at the time, she was Mary Jane Watson. Here's the she problem, looked. though. I like that, but here's your problem. Bryce Dallas Howard wasn't really a known actress until, like, Lady in the Water-ish era, right? And that was, like, mm -hmm. five oh years Lady after they the cast water. the first movie. Remember that like, movie? Because, like, Kristen Dunst was, like, a name. <laughs> yeah. Like, Bruce, I guess suicide, that's true. Also, they, they I was were... watching. I was watching the uh, the '90s Spider-Man cartoon this week, mm. and I was like, every time I saw her on the screen, I was like, that looks exactly like Kirsten Dunst. Mm -hmm. Mm. Did it make you want to watch Bring It On? No. <laughs> Did it make you want to scream? Always in the mood to watch Bring It On. Come on. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? It didn't Eliza do that one. I mean, come on. They did with uh, Why did Stigman look up when someone referenced Bring It On? <laughs> <laughs> he was taking yeah. for his for his movie. He's excited. He was alive when that movie came out. He knows. <laughs> you know, my dad's a my dad's a real weirdo. And uh, <laughs> what what segue could this be? He, he He's watches, a real Bring It On fan. He had a shrine he, to Gabrielle. He Union is a real. Friend. That's where I'm going with it. He, <laughs> he watches whatever, like he's one of those guys that just flips around HBO, yeah. and, like multiple channels, mm -hmm. and he'll watch like parts of movies and he just like switches between yeah. them. Oh my god, yeah. can you imagine? No, it drives, me, <laughs> it drives me nuts. But he loves any movie about dancing, so he okay. watched uh, Stomp the Yard a million times. Okay, uh, Drumline. How uh, does he like? How does he like Honey? I was just gonna say, honey is one of them. Yes, <laughs> oh, step up and step up to the streets. Yep. Oh, so is this God. is this is this in place of the usual shit, or is he also oh, wow. does he also love documentaries about World War Two? No, he. It's not. No, no documentaries about World okay. War Two. If they're dancers okay. in World War Two, mm -hmm. he likes ah. he likes dancers. He likes 
uh, karate. Okay. Any movie wow. with karate. Yes. Wow. Any movie with Bill Murray, and he likes any movie with the Wayans brothers. Okay, wow. I kind of love it. It's kind of a vibe. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something. This is mix. eerily similar to my dad, who loved the 80s action movies. I grew up on Rocky, mm -hmm. uh, the Schwarzeneggers, Bruce Willis, all that. And then one mm -hmm. day, he pulls me aside. He's like, son, I'm going to show you one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm like, this is going to be epic. He puts on Dirty Dancing, and I just like, <laughs> I, I, well, dude, Dirty, I spent dancing, the whole, dirty dancing slaps. Dude, I spent the whole day just wondering what is going on, and then Patrick Swayze punches the guy. I saw Roadhouse, and then I got it. So, mm. you know, my dad I was, like, was oh. really into Flash Dance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We just my, dad, my dad is really, for some reason, into the, the movie Music and Lyrics, where Hugh Grant plays oh my like God. Andrew Ridgely type. <laughs> and so every time a Wham song is playing in on the radio, without fail, will go, you know, there was a movie where Hugh Grant played a guy just like the other guy in Wham. And I'm like, Andrew Ridgely is like the very same. <laughs> yeah, dads are music, weird. music and lyrics is the kind of like like dusty DVD you'd find on a dad's bookshelf. <laughs> like, yeah, this is this is a, a good glimpse into my dad. We one time, my wife and I, when we were dating, we watched a movie with him. We watched Good Luck Chuck, the one with Dane. Oh Cook. no! Oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, Ter terrible! No. Movie. The whole time, movie. the whole time I'm sitting Just there, and I'm like, I'm like. Oh my god, this is so bad! And like, I'm not laughing. I'm just, I'm just miserable. My movie's and really gross. My dad, <laughs> my dad's <laughs> laughing like, like Robert De Niro in Problem Child. In, uh, oh my god! <laughs> and then, but he keeps laughing, and he's laughing the whole time. And then the movie ends, and like the credits are rolling, and he's like, <laughs> "Oh, that movie was terrible." <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> he was on board. Yeah. Yeah, 2006 called. They want us to shut the fuck up and forget about Good Luck Chuck forever. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> so, it's really. Oh no, Dane comes to be arrested? Question <laughs> mark. I don't know. Man. Allegedly. Um, uh, wait, wait. What did he do? I don't. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> I, give me, give me a hint. For me, he, he just, he just seems like a really bad Wasn't guy. Was he stealing jokes? He got well, yeah, he always, uh, he always yeah. got caught. Like he was always going back and forth about stealing jokes. Um, mm -hmm. There was like a bit, I think, with him and Louis C.K. Um, that was mm. kind of well. Like, they talked about it on Louis' show. Yes, yes. Well, I knew one of the worst things was his HBO show. I think it was Torgasm. Oh yeah, yeah that was. Really... You, you got to see what he was like behind the scenes, and it's not like his stage presence at all. No, like, he was on... so self-indulgent. It was yeah. terrible. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm not ruined it. Here, let me tell you the ending of it. He reads a letter that he wrote to himself in fifth grade uh -huh. about how he's going to make it and he's going to be successful, and he sits <sighs> there and cries, and it was like, "Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you're a comedian, dude." <laughs> That's what we came to see. Yeah. I uh, his little... brothers don't like have his money or something though. Yeah, that was sad. Yeah, I do think something. Yeah, something tragic did happen. Um, but Dan Cook, he had he'll a, still he had be a... that guy from Mystery Men that burned himself with a waffle iron, even though it wasn't plugged in. Huh. <laughs> that is a very underrated superhero movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, film buffs and talking about movies that your dad loves. Uh, I saw the 4K restoration of The Godfather on the big screen ah, this past week. Oh, weekend. wow. Nice. Um, it was beautiful. A stunning, stunning transfer. And I would the, like to see that. What was, what, what the, like, did the, all theaters have it? Probably. I think it's I out of theaters now. It was like just for yeah, a couple you, days. You might have missed oh, it man. now, but you can check. I bet you that Imagine and AMC by your place probably have it. But um, uh, it was awesome. The, the transfer, you know, that's obviously a movie that is constantly making use of uh, lighting or lack of it and the shadows in it are so prominent and so the the contrast from the 4k transfer is like fucking unreal and the the way that the faces and everything just float in nothing is beautiful um fucking going on about the godfather for fuck's sake i might have to <laughs> i might have to wait for the um disney uh no violence version to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the, the baptism uh, scene, but it's just like 
I don't know. Everyone's getting just vaguely pushed instead of shot. Or he uh, he wakes up and then he uh, pulls up his sheets and it's just a giant hole that hasn't penetrated into his shoulder. <laughs> you know, that's one of those that's one of those movies that I didn't see until it was like until I was like twenty seven or twenty eight. Yep. And you know, you're like, well, it can't possibly be that good. And then you see it and you're like, it's that oh, good. that was exactly as good as everybody said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those. It actually, movies. lives up to. I life. actually, um, it was my first time seeing the the full fucking thing in its entirety because i'd only seen it on amc watching it in like oh, high wow. school yeah which of course is you know not you're not even watching it um i've seen all the iconic scenes of course but out of context of the bigger movie so didn't you go um, to film school awesome. you weirdo <laughs> yeah and in film school they play they you all the fucking clips from the godfather a billion fucking times uh... <laughs> yeah you guys you guys want to hear a real hot uh uh francis ford coppola take i've got yeah mm. Uh, the Godfather the and The Godfather Part 2 are not my favorite uh, Francis Ford Coppola movie. What is it? What is? All right, so the joke answer here would be to say Jack with Robin Williams. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm say Dracula. <laughs> Where's the joke? That movie's great. Wait, are you going to say the, the French Connection? Is that what it is? Is that the... No, that's Freakin'. Oh, no, it's William no, I'm thinking Freakin', of, wait, Ryan. Hold on. God damn it, Ryan. The conversation. It's the conversation. It's the, the conversation. conversation fucking rules. That's why. Okay. It's such a good fucking movie. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's yeah, fucking awesome. Listen, I'm cool with that hot take. That's a... I can get behind that for sure. When are they going to remake um, Jack as an HBO Max exclusive? <laughs> an HBO Max original series, mm-hmm. I say. Get Jacob um, Lordy to play him. That'd be really good. Uh, Ryan, Michael, do you have anything else for us before we're talking to the, the man himself, Tyler Jenis? Uh, no, man. I, I, I think I'm good. Uh, I did finish. I think I talked about this last week. I finished... Um, uh, uh, our flag means death. Um, oh, I've been wanting to watch I, that. I think that is the performance of Taika Waititi's career. I think he was oh, brilliant really? in it. Wow. And um, I loved it so much. I was like, yo, I, I need a pirate fix. So I downloaded Black Flag, Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. And I'm playing Assassin's. The first thing you do is meet Rice Darby's character in the video game. So basically the video game follows the same beat as the show. So it just happened to be this perfect happy Wait, accident. Wait, who is, who is, who's Rice Darby playing? He plays a, a, a guy named Steed Bonnet who was basically just this rich um, uh, merchant who worked alongside uh, basically pirates. He would bribe them to not like uh, pillage his ships so he would have oh, successful wow. routes. He got to know them and befriend them so much he just one day left his family and became a pirate himself wow but he i didn't was, know that was a real yeah, a real but he was a, rich sure. as hell so like he didn't have to be a pirate it's basically if if like uh tony stark just one day said i'm gonna just go be a pirate so wow. incredible yeah yeah i definitely gotta watch that it's I pretty liked cool. the first episode enough. I just haven't gone back to it. I, I was more intrigued by Laughing Friends, which I also caught on HBO. If nobody's seen that, that's... I've heard that's good. Smil- smiling pretty... Friends? Sorry, yes. Did I say Laughing Friends? So Jesus good. Christ. You uh, said Happy smiling... Tree Friends. Mm, that's also you know, a classic. We still haven't done the stream where uh, Griffin drinks the Magnum. Uh... The, the Magnum? The, the super White Claws? <laughs> yeah. Listen, let's just... Let's pick a day. Uh, give me a little heads up. I do have several White Claws in my fridge right now. Um, none of them are the super duper ones, though. So, I'm, uh, What do we have to do for help. you to up it to LSD live on the stream? <laughs> <laughs> just like... <laughs> Ryan, your hand is... Um, it looks I want, insane, I want to see you Ryan. drop it right at the beginning of the episode, too. Like, I want, mm-hmm. I want everybody well, to see you know, that. if I do it right at the beginning of the episode, there's a chance that we're only eclipsing the, the start of it by the time we're done. Um, would we? Would this be a sure. terms of service violation on YouTube? Not if we said we were joking. <laughs> not if we said it was parody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, this is definitely a joke. He's not mm-hmm. actually doing this. No. <laughs> Griffin's doing a really good impression of what someone on LSD looks like. <laughs> <laughs> these these are contacts I got online. That's right. <laughs> That's that. Uh, I, I, say... I, I really I've wanted us to do a sequel to our Hot Ones special since the oh, Hot Ones special, and I'm just thinking oh, the, that whole, the, the whole crew does psychedelic drugs. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, okay. Everyone's just. I mean, that's the only way you can move up from there. Yeah. Christ, we are losing it because we got 28 people online right now. (laughs) This is. 
<laughs> the conversation is not clicking with some. I know we, we had a lot earlier and we, yeah, we went from 50 down to 30. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm having a good time. Well, yeah, I just I wanted to say, Ryan, I love I'm an old school horror fan. I love the universal horror monsters. And so I mm-hmm. really like the pose you chose for Morbius here. It it Thank gives you. me those like old school monster vibes of like um, what's his name? Uh, Igor, the way he was always yeah. like clasping his hands like so. I really like That's that. Exactly Is it Igor or I Igor? Oh, <laughs> pretends if it's Mel Brooks or uh, no Brooks or not. So mm. Tyler, the creator, says Igor. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. You're just gonna show up to my yeah, birthday party and have birthday gift music, here at my so. birthday party. Oh, what the Brandon, fuck, no, Brandon? No. <laughs> Bad take. Bad take. I didn't um, hear it. What? <laughs> <laughs> he said that uh, he, he doesn't like uh, Tyler the Creator. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just the I'm gonna get from the chat. I don't know you also, you also are the one making fun of Andrew Garfield, right? <laughs> I, but he converted. He converted. Him. I hate his movies. I think he does a good job. It's terribly okay. written movies. Okay, you can't argue with that. Um, Tyler Janos. That's me. You got uh, your, you got your quote on a Chip Zdarsky project. I. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I did. That was this is, weird. It's a, this is a betrayal on levels that no one has ever seen, Tyler. I want you to know that. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun to see on like a when the hell did that happen? Like a couple Tuesday days or ago, Wednesday? Like yeah, a couple days yeah. ago. Mm-hmm. We're back yeah. up to thirty-two. Keep oh, talking about Oh no! <laughs> you you yeah, mentioned, mentioned the name. <laughs> yeah. We need we to need say to it a couple more Ryan times for him to show Chip, up. We need his thoughts on the Will Smith slap. I yeah. did. I, I texted him. He's not, <laughs> he's not the slap was staged, guys. Oh, oh, oh my god. god. So many oh, bad so takes. Oh. It was staged <laughs> because Nintendo wanted to distract you from Breath of the Wild. Don't bring it up. Wait. No. Uh, it's Wait, a- what happened? Breath of, uh, Breath of the Wild 2 got delayed. Oh, okay. I thought you were just saying it didn't. Wasn't it didn't get <laughs> delayed very far, though, just till spring, um, which... Not too bad. I'm all right. I've got Elden Ring to keep me going. Oh, oh my God, are you, dude? Are you playing Elden Ring? Dude. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. How's it going? Wait, oh wait, my didn't God. We talk about this last week? <laughs> he must have no, dipped we, by we that didn't point. Really talk about it now. Uh, yeah. Everybody said they weren't playing it, so I just like dropped it. But um, <laughs> oh wow. I uh, I suck at it, and it's not yeah, going it's, well. Uh, nice. Are you having fun? Yeah. I I. I like just going around and killing people, and then yeah, I, I haven't leveled up enough. I'm I'm still l- less than a level twenty. So the world, um, the world, and the lore are fucking awesome. Yeah, they're so good. Yeah, you when have you to explain when you... it to me sometime because I don't get it. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, have you? You, you mean so you, you, you mean it? you don't get the world, or you don't get the appeal? I don't. Well, I don't get the lore aspect of it. I'm playing it a oh, sure. lot, but I just don't get what's going on. There's yeah, a giant I'm, golden I'm tree. With you. <laughs> I I mean, like half the time I'm just looking up what I'm supposed to do because I'm like, I don't know what's going yes. on. <laughs> yes. Uh Ryan, we got a question here from Drew Deer. Drew Deer, I don't know. I'm sorry. Drew Deer. Ryan, do you see yourself doing interiors on another Marvel book in the future? Or are you the younger, hotter Alex Ross just doing covers now? Oh no, I will absolutely be doing interiors. I've got to finish well, take Vanish to, you know, when you guys stop reading it, and then, uh, <laughs> and then but I have a contract, back. so I have to go back someday. Mm. And, you know, not in a bad way, like I'm... Are there any uh, any characters Marvel. in particular you'd love to draw on the regular Ryan Stegman? No. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Spider-Man is great. Uh He's all right. You guys saw my Wolverine pitch that I put out mm, on the internet. Spicy Wolverine pitch. Uh, um, real Moon quick. Knight, maybe? What's that? Moon Knight. Oh. Moon Knight would be cool. Don, Donnie and I, every once in a while, like, we kind of kill it on that. <laughs> I think so. Real quick, because I'm about to throw up uh, Danny's Morbius art, but I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm about, I'm about to throw up, and then you pause. No, I'm about to, uh, give me <laughs> and then a you just yak everywhere. I'm about to vomit. I didn't think it was that bad, Griffin. Oh, it's great. I'm excited to show it. But uh, I'm realizing, because I have all the photos that I've ever 
put up on uh, for overlay here, and I realize one is kind of topical this week, and it's. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Just in case anyone's wondering where uh, Wakanda Forever is going to be going. Um, also, here's a classic one for some of our I think you should leave fans. Oh my god! Oh, no. See, he's a jizz player in uh in uh, the saloon. Uh, uh, and in honor of Morbius, here's Jared Leto at the No Way Home premiere once again. Oh, he's again. wearing the Timothy Chalamet uh, uh, jacket. Yeah, 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 yeah. The deep V. <laughs> That's a U at that point. It's yeah. <laughs> a U. You cut. A capital V. Yeah. Um, but here is uh, Danny's take on Morbius. Nice. Hey. Yeah, very oh, nice. The use of the color really is pretty nice. fucking awesome, man. I love nice it. Nice lighting. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very uh, black, white, and blood. Very nice. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm on. I'm yeah. on the next movies. Yeah, black, white, and blood. Let's go. Get them on there. Um, that's awesome, man. Thanks for sharing it with us. Um, also, talking a little bit about fan art, Ryan. Have you seen some of the awesome vanished fan art that has been dropped in that Discord channel? I think I saw a couple. Is there a lot? Well, there's a couple that we've already seen, but I think there yeah. might be one or two new pieces in there. Oh, I'm um, going to go check it out. I haven't, they're, they're pretty cool. I haven't um, ventured into that part of the thing very much. So, yeah, I want to see that. So, Ethan, did you see that? Did you see this? Did you see what I put up? Did you see the, did you see the Will Smith thing? I didn't, but thanks for pulling it up again. Yeah, <laughs> How about Baby Grinch? You guys want to see Baby Grinch? <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> oh no God. one should give me this much creative control. I'm sorry. Hey, um, uh, I have a so I have a quick thing. We're going to make a post about this, but if anybody's going to Philly, Wizard or Fan Expo Philly next week, Donnie and I are going to be there, and we're going to have some some free stuff for you guys. It's going to be cool. Whoa! Just for KLC it. Press subscribers. Yeah. Is it invitations to Ethan's wedding? Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, he made photocopies and he's going to hand them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, that sounds very exciting. And if I'm not already a subscriber to KLC Press over at klcpress.com, you bet your ass I'm about to be. We've been talking about doing the KLC up. And we're just merging that with my wedding. It's just gonna that's gonna be the fan meetup. Yeah. We're gonna be streaming um, live. Yeah, from streaming wedding. the wedding. It's gonna be popping. Um, <laughs> I can't wait. You know what we're I find a little offensive? Hmm. Nobody's asked me about my root canal. I'm sure it went great, Ryan. Do you so what is your root canal? <laughs> I have a weird fake tooth right now. Oh no. Can you see it? Which one? Yeah, I can't tell. Yeah, I guess I yeah, get, the, get the closer. Camera. Get 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 real close. Yeah, can you just bring the camera? <laughs> it's to pretty your obvious. Phone. It's pretty obvious. Why don't you take a very person. detailed photo of it with your phone, and then I can put it up uh, on the screen for everybody to see. Mm, nah. No, have I have I talked about have I talked about how my whole front row of teeth are fake? Really? Yeah, my whole all of my front teeth. It's all these are veneers. Yeah. What happened? Uh, I was just born with really fucked up teeth, and um, and, and I had them all the way through being. In, why am I? Why am I, <laughs> 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 I didn't want to do a big confessional. I was, I was wondering. I was, yeah. I was born with really fucked up teeth, and um, and didn't have the money to like get braces and go through all that. And there there were several reasons why I didn't uh, throughout growing up. But once I was like. Uh, ending high school, entering adulthood, I was like, I'd love to not have fucked up teeth, and I'd also love to not wear braces in college. Um, and so, uh, yeah, just got veneers done. Um, so these so are that's porcelain. that's you can do that instead of get. And then, are they hard to take care of or no? No, I mean, you got to be diligent with it, but the, there's like a few things. Like, I can't bite into an apple, and I can't like uh, they're very hot and cold sensitive and stuff. But um, they're they're not like a crazy commitment necessarily. Because uh, my my braces uh, were traumatic because I had them too long, <laughs> right. and I was right. a senior in high school with them still. Oh mm -hmm. man! Oh wow! Damn. Yeah, that sucks. That's the long yearbook line. pictures. When uh, put them up on the Discord, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Dig them out. Should, what you want to see is my teeth before I had the oh, yeah. braces. They were mm. all over the. Oh, they were yeah. all mm. over the map. My my two front teeth were not only like spaced out, like there was a big gap, but one of them was like turned outward. So they they were it was pretty fun. Like from one side, I looked completely normal, and from Danny, the other side, just like a Danny's monster. out. Bye, Danny. Bye, hey, everyone. Good night, man. Thanks for coming. My two front teeth 
overlapped. Right. And then I had um, I had to get ten teeth pulled because my teeth wouldn't fall out. Mm -hmm. cool. So I went into as a freshman in high school with ten teeth missing. That's insane. My yeah. God. It was bad. Who else has fake body parts? <laughs> <laughs> Griffin, do you want to talk about your calf implants? Uh, yeah, I've got insane calves. Um, it's uh, They're not implants. It's mostly because uh, I have such short legs and everybody else's are longer and they walk faster than me. So I inherently have to take more steps to keep up with right. everybody. But so that means my legs are always in very good shape. Griffin has these bulges that come out of the sides of his khakis. You assume that he's like the guy from My Hero Academia with the rocket coming out of his calves. Oh, wow. um, but they're just his uh, calves. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen uh, uh, Sorry to Bother You, but uh, uh, yes. that was based off of a true story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we just got horsemen running around. Is that what you're saying? Is that true? <laughs> the uh, Equisapiens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that movie, movie fucking rules. Um, <laughs> uh, Tyler, I feel like we, you know, we talked about the, the chip thing, and then chip, as always, even when he's not here, derails the whole conversation. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You want to hear about the weekend? Anything you watch or read? Yeah. Yeah, so I uh, went to New York this weekend, meet up with a friend. Uh, we had tickets to see uh, uh, a, a hit new play on Broadway called Chicago. Ooh. Mm. What's that? Reason that? <laughs> Never that seen. It's, a, it's like a new cast of like no one huge. Uh, this is the month right before uh, next month when Pamela Anderson is going to be in the cast. That's right. That's what oh, I really? really? Yep. Wow. Just missed her, which, damn, devastated. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I saw that, and then uh, the next day, uh, Griffin, you'll love this. I saw a Buster Keaton like retrospective at the Film Forum, which nice. was like the nerdiest thing. They mm -hmm. had live piano <laughs> accompaniment. They had like a, a long That's lost cool. short, where like the unearthed the, like this lost ending. They played it for the first time ever, and wow. it was it was kind of wild. And then they played like a, a short movie where the guy was like the pianist was like playing his ass off. And the that, live accompaniment's uh, fucking sweet. It's great. It, it was yeah. it was a lot of fun. And then I went home, watched Drive My Car on the uh, on the train back, which is good. And okay. then I saw Steve Martin and Martin Short live. Oh fuck, that's wow. awesome. that was that is that was sad. pretty cool. What are they? What's the show? Uh, so if you guys have seen the Netflix special uh, mm -hmm. that they put out, uh, like the show you'll forget for the rest of your lives. Yeah, yeah. it's that. That's the show. Oh, okay. It's literally just that show with like 30 extra minutes. <laughs> That's it. That's the new bit, huh? Okay. It's <laughs> fun. It's a good show. It was cool seeing them live. That Let sounds me tell you, awesome. Uh, the uh, the fiddle playing, top notch. <laughs> oh, I bet. I bet. Did uh, did Steve whip out the banjo? He did, in fact, whip out mm -hmm. the banjo. Mm -hmm. Amongst I other things. I fucking love those guys. Steve Martin's the best. Hey, what else um, did he whip out, Tyler? Mm. <laughs> Zach O'Dell, real quick, is asking, uh, who's excited for the Evil Dead game in a few weeks? Groovy. Um, yes. Ryan, were you implying that Steve Martin got his dick out? Well, Jesus. he said... <laughs> He said he whipped out his banjo among other I know. things, and so and so then you I, th I thought that Tyler Steve was the one implying that got out his dick on stage. I, I was, I was. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's called Martin Short, by the way. That's what he calls his penis. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Long. He calls it Martin Long. Okay. I am excited for the Evil Dead game. I actually directed a uh, production of Evil Dead the Musical at my college as a sophomore. That's which, nice. Uh, did you guys actually have the rights to do that, or was that one of those? We did actually. Things? We got okay, the rights sweet. from like uh, Samuel French or MTI, or whatever the fuck owns nice. the rights to Evil and the Musical. That's pretty sweet. That yeah, is pretty sweet. You directed it, just you? I directed it, and uh, that was a uh, a weird production where like our piano player like dropped out a week before we went on, so like the guitarist had to do both at the same time. Nice. Do you have I a don't know. do you have a video copy of this? I'd love to we, see it. I have a lot of pictures, not video, okay, because right. our, the person who did record said like, "Oh, it's on my computer. I'll get it for you." And like two years later, he never gave me a video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, but I think there you, was there nice. was uh, I think some Evil Dead Rise news that came out recently. I mm, I yeah. believe we maybe they it was like given a rating or something like that. Um, so I guess we're closing in on that being a reality i think is that an hbo that's gonna go straight to hbo i think um, oh that's disappointing yeah Man, it, could, I it really might be it a, a, i really wish it was a follow-up to that fucking reboot 
Dude, yeah, me yeah, fucking too, reboot. man. Yeah, it was great. awesome. The reboot's um, sick, yeah. But hey, as long as it's good, that's kind of my biggest thing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. Well, find the photos, Tyler, and fucking bring bring me photos of your Evil Dead musical. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. I'll put on Jay, Discord. Why'd you do? Why'd you do that voice? J Jonah J Jonah Jameson, like the Spider Man thing. Bring me photos of Spider Man. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah. He didn't go to acting school. He went to film school. I could do a dramatic <laughs> reading of some J. Jonah Jameson lines if you guys want. Okay. All right. Let me pull some J. Jonah Jameson lines up. <laughs> All right, everybody. Nobody talk. Let's just wait for Griffin to pull up these um, J. Jonah Jameson lines. One sec. One sec. Oh no! Um, we dropped a hundred viewers. <laughs> Griffin, you got to fucking. Okay, you are you ready? Started. All right. Wow, we're actually yeah. in negative. Get numbers. him back. The, Get him right, back. All right, all right, all right. All right. <clears throat> uh, this is J. Jones Jameson uh, talking about Peter's pictures of Spider Man. <clears throat> They're crap, 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 mega crap. <laughs> I'll give you 200 bucks for our, all of them. How was that? Thank you. Are you, doing, are you doing sort of an ironic thing where you're saying it's an impression, but then it's not? All right, how about this one? How about it's this the Norm MacDonald approach. You know? If we can get a picture of Julia Roberts in a thong, we can certainly get a picture of this weirdo. Does that make <laughs> Julia Roberts canon to the uh, MCU? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. All right, how about no jobs, freelance? Best thing in the world for a kid your age. You bring me some more pictures of that newspaper-selling clown, maybe I'll take them off your hands. But I never said you have a job. Meet. I'll send you a nice box of Christmas meat. It's the best I can do. Get out of here. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I feel like the impression might be too subtle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to come to your wedding anymore. <laughs> okay. That's fair. I just think, I think, you know, you're attempting to not go over the top and you may be going too subtle. I think play up the emotionality a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Well, you want to do one more? Uh, yeah. 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 Let me just. Uh... Just find one here. Okay. <clears throat> what are you, his lawyer? Get out of here. Let him sue me. Get rich like a normal person. That See, was that good. was perfect. I actually thought that was really good. Okay, sweet. Cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. No, I awesome. appreciate you taking the notes and improving them. Yeah, um, thank you, man. Yeah. Anybody else got any impressions? Or... <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Michael. <laughs> Ryan Michael. Do you have a J. Jonah Jason in you? If we can get a picture of Julia Roberts in a thong, we can certainly get a picture of this weirdo. Put it on the front page. Cash money for Spider-Man. Oh, it scares the, yeah. It's getting yeah. out of me every time. You know what that, sounded, you know what that sounded a lot like to me was the one like the one from Spectacular. Uh, what's <laughs> his name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Isn't that fucking Gordy from Ned's Declassified? I think oh, so. I can't remember. I can't, I I can't remember is, the yeah. actor, he's, but it, he's it is also a great Cosmo version. Cosmo in the Fairly Odd Parents. I think that's him. Oh, Dean Norris. Yeah. Dean Norris. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that one. Yeah, that was that was that sounded a lot like that one. I liked it. Thank you. Pretty good. Um, Ethan. Yes. Take the wheel. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he dips. <laughs> All right. Well, who did we not ask about what they're watching and reading and doing? Who hasn't? I think we're up to Andy. Yet? Andy, mm -hmm. what are you up to? Huh? What the what fuck is your to? deal? What the <laughs> fuck is going on, Andy? <laughs> Answer uh, yourself. Uh, I started reading Akira the other day. Oh, oh that's, that's the best. Uh, I started rewatching all of Attack on Titan again. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Uh, that was good. Yeah. I've been through the first really liked four seasons in three days. Ooh. That was terrible. 26 <laughs> hours of my life, I'm never going to get back. Does, is there anybody here, or does anybody here know anybody that couldn't get into Attack on Titan? Because I feel like I'm the only person in the world. Ryan? Okay. My cousin. I've tried many Oh, times. you too, huh? <laughs> Interesting. I didn't go very far. Just, I mean, I got it, and I liked it, but mm -hmm. it was it was so melodramatic. And I know. It's like... it's that, that was it to me. Was I was just like, it's just sort of miserable, and I don't like any of the characters very much. And so I ended up just skimming through the manga all the way to the end. Um, well, the art in the manga is really bad. It's. Yeah. Do you think so? You think it's bad? I think it's bad. Okay. Towards the end, it gets better, but like from the start, because like it's his first ever manga, like uh, mm -hmm. Isayama wrote. So like, understandably, it's not going to be perfect. But like as it goes on, you can clearly see, oh, he's actually getting better at being sure. like, a decent artist, I guess. Interesting. Yeah, well, Attack on Titan. Watch was good. Mm -hmm. Akira. 
Is that, is that all you're up to right uh, now? What else? Ah, uh, what else? I watched uh, Titanic last night because why mm-hmm. not? Mm-hmm. I cried. Uh-huh. Great. Yeah. Had you had you seen it before? It was my th- it's my fifth time watching it. I think. Okay. Oh, wow. Interesting. And I, cr- and I cry. I cried again because you know Rose could have kept Jack on that stupid door and. Arguably. <laughs> And then, then she freaking throws the necklace back into the ocean. I'm like, why? Why would you do that? So he could catch it. it terrible. <laughs> yeah, so it would, well, sink, it would sink him faster. So. <laughs> while we're while we're talking, James Cameron, let's do a quick hype check for Avatar Two. How hyped is everybody for Avatar Two? Weirdly hyped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zoe Zaldano was just saying because they they filmed it all and everything, so she was saying that she just saw some of it coming together and cried. First of all, because it's two more, right? Yeah, it's two. Well, I think, I think maybe five, more than four that. more. Yeah, they, four they, yeah, more. Yeah, four more. But four. they filmed they filmed two and three back to back. I enjoy Avatar, even though I know who's doing the Foley work. I know. I'm noticing a lot a of liquid or something? Sound. Like I'm getting like, gripping. Uh, I like that. Griffin um, was pissing into the microphone. <laughs> I brought the mic with me. That's how he knows how to aim. Yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take the blame. I poured myself some soda. My apologies. Okay. The okay. Uh, the uh, soda. Yeah. The, the Avatar rides mm-hmm. at Disney mm-hmm. are fantastic. They mm-hmm. really are. Some of the best you can do. I like the movie. I think the movie's pretty good. My kids really loved it, and that was that made it really fun. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, here's my memory of Avatar from film school cuz uh mm. I saw Oh my Avatar. god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, I swear it's good. Uh, so uh we had this professor in If film anybody says Buster like... Keaton again, I'm going to shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you going to let me finish the story, Ethan? Please. So there was a professor, like a real old like Wilfred Brimley looking dude. Yeah. And uh, his big thing was like Frank Capra. Love Mr. Frank Capra. Smith goes mm-hmm. to Washington and others. He had like a whole thesis about Frank Capra. Love that. So he was the guy who had to like teach Avatar for some reason right. at the end. And he hated it. Every okay. time he taught it, you could like sense the loathing in his voice when he mentioned it. Mm-hmm. And so then like after he taught about like, you know, like, the context for the movie and he showed the four hour long movie or whatever mm. i was sitting near him and i just hear him like whisper to like the teacher next to him never again wow <laughs> <laughs> tough incredible i remember getting I've avatar on dvd avatar. from blockbuster <laughs> that's the way there's that's the way to see it that's how he intended it yeah yeah, yeah. can we like is is avatar 2 gonna fucking happen this year is it really finally coming out this christmas maybe <laughs> One can hope, I guess. It's like it might, uh, I think it, for for me the bigger question is: Is it going to be much of a jump in special effects? Because that was sort of what was implied in what Zoe Zaldana said was like that it was just insane to look at. That so was what the whole, water stuff, right? Yeah, that's what the yeah. whole, the first one's about. That's the only. No, I know, but it's like, it. can they do it again at this point? Um, <laughs> James, like, James Cameron's going to raise Cameron. the bar. That's the thing. You I never want to doubt him. He went in his sub and he went to the bottom of the ocean to find the bar so he could. And raise he figured it. out water. He was like, he came up from the ocean. And he was like, I know how to animate water perfectly now. Mm-hmm. Are you doubting the man who directed Piranha 2? Yeah. I guess I am. I think I looked it up on IMDb once, and weren't there actually supposed to be like up to Avatar 4 scheduled or something like that? There yeah. are currently there are. Four, four scheduled sequels up to it's Avatar It's a saga. <laughs> how old is James Cameron? He's older than you'd think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, Jim Cameron. We're that's, we're tight, so I call him Jim. Right, Andy. If you've you never seen the, uh, he's sixty-seven. Andy, if you've never seen Future Man, there's an episode of Future Man where they go to uh, a fictional James Cameron's house, and mm-hmm. he has like an AI computer that works for him, and it's one of the funniest things you will ever see. It's got more James Cameron jokes than I could possibly remember, but it is very. Is that funny. that Josh Hutcherson show? Exactly. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, yeah. That, okay. There's a hilarious episode where it's all the whole thing is just ripping on James Cameron and how <laughs> how su- successful yet I don't want to say arrogant but they just like they make fun of his pretentiousness that he thinks of himself as like a modern shipping captain or like an admiral like I have my own fleet I can do anything I want underwater 
You know, mm-hmm. so. um, real quick, dream. here's some pictures of uh, Tyler Genesis' uh, uh, <laughs> Evil Dead the As Musical. As you can tell, it was a very high budget production. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I like the just throwing a little what, what, a cloth over his hand. <laughs> That's okay. also oven mitt. Okay, that was before everywhere. he had the That's chainsaw. The Let's be fair here. By True. the way, most of the budget went to that moose. Because that moose is an actual puppet. Oh, that's pretty wow. cool. <laughs> nice. oh. I dig that Necronomicon. Yeah, the book looks great. Is there uh, a chainsaw I actually hand? Uh, there is a chainsaw hand, yeah. I actually Very painted nice. that fireplace, by the way. That was my handiwork. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Look there at it that. is. Look at that. <laughs> God, I'd love to go back in time and see that. Holy shit. (laughs) Let's go. Absolutely. We had Um, uh, one of those, like, plant things that you use to, like, spray water, but we filled it with fake blood, and we just sprayed that shit at the audience. That's pretty good. Did you tell them they were in the splash zone? Um, Everything is a splash zone. It's true. It's a 4D experience. Yeah, when you're around Tyler (laughs) Jeunesse. Everything is a splash zone. Uh, Andy, what's up, man? Um... Do you have to talk to Andy Griffin? Oh, fuck, I missed it. I was going pissed. I, mean, I don't want to talk to such a moron. Guy. Are we on Brandon now? <laughs> we Can someone catch me up on the also, lore? Andy talked about Andy, Attack Andy on Griffin, Titan what? and Akira. And God Titanic. damn it. God damn it. I was. I wanted to talk about Attack on Titan. I know. I'm that's so why I'm really fucking excited. mad that we're now on Brandon. God damn it. <laughs> You got any bizarre takes for us this week, Brandon? Um, it's funny you said you're really fucking sad you're on Brandon, because my parents also said that. Oh. 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 Whoa. <laughs> let's, let's keep I it said, light. Let's keep it light. I, I said I was excited we're on that, because we don't have to talk about, it, about it, Attack on Titan. Um, let's see. I went and saw the Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie in theaters. I just want to clarify uh, really fast. Go back in the YouTube video. I said excited, not sad. I swear to Christ. Because <laughs> <laughs> Griffin was wanting to talk about Attack on Titan, and I said, I know. That's why I'm excited that we're moving on to Brandon. Anyway. Okay. Well, my parents continue. said that later. You know. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> it took a while to win them over. Great. Nice. All right. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. I am halfway through the first season of Jujutsu Kaisen, and I'm really digging it. Oh, you're finally um, watching. So the movie is a prequel. Yes. 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 Um, and it's very good. Mm. Hell yeah. As far as like animation is concerned, it made me want to just quit my job as an animator because I won't be able to do that shit. Hey, says who? Uh, says who, man? But where it uh, where I think it drops the ball is like, it has like the really like melodramatic emotional ending, and I didn't cry. So, nice. You nice. know, they didn't. Maybe that's uh, a you problem. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it didn't hit Coco from Pixar levels. <laughs> that's that's the that's the top, huh? That's the bar, man. The theater was like slick with tears. You couldn't. Turning even... red? Anybody turning red? I really I liked it. Red. Yeah, it was good. I liked yeah. it. I don't know. I don't know that I. I don't know if I cried. I think I cried a little bit during Coco. My bar is still Inside Out. Inside Out, I was like fucking gutted me. Olaf's Frozen Adventure played before it. <laughs> Lava. I Lava, I think, was the. Uh, uh, Toy Story 4 fucking rocks. That's why. Right, good, I'm yeah. going to zoom this thing out and show it because I'm. Finished. I hated it, but it still made me cry. He's finished. It's oh done. Oh my God. Ooh. I, I want to talk to Nigel and Sean before we go. Um, that's okay. incredible. Well, Nigel, you had a pretty cool pickup this week, I believe it was. Yeah. Oh, actually, have it right next to me. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Let's see it. So uh, I had to trade a couple of things to my LCS to get it, but I finally got Silver Surfer number one. Oh, uh, whoa. Whoa. Are you going to get that graded? I am. I don't think it's going to be very uh, high grade. It might be like a three. Okay. But you okay. know what? It's better but than not having them. You've got it. That's what matters, yeah. man. That's awesome, brother. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you. I've been no, chasing one for a while. I was going to say, you're a big Silver Surfer fan. So that's, I am. Yeah. That's awesome that you could get that, man. I lost um, a bit on that book this week, actually. <laughs> oh yeah yeah i got three 9.8s of other books and i tried to get that one and i did not have the money how much did it go for uh once anything goes past 100 i take it off my watch list because i'm it's too depressing sure <laughs> <laughs> um that's fucking awesome nigel congrats Thanks. brother it's a big year for you between that AF15. Well, AF15 was last year. Well, you know, uh, sort of the but. calendar 365 days, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you got any more big pickups you're planning this year? Um, well, I picked up some Junji Ito books. Uh, they Very good. Him, so Very I, good. I those up too. 
Uh, sensor and deserter. Yeah, haven't read them yet. But um, are you gonna drop any serious fucking coin on a graded book? <laughs> I am. I am. Um, yeah. So I've actually I just got done with a whatnot sale, like at three, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm trying to. I'm either going for Strange Tales one ten. Okay. First, Doctor Strange. Of course. Um, either that, or maybe an X one. We'll see. I'm th- I'm leaning towards um, Strange Tales. That'd be a um, good Because I'm I'm thinking if I, I might have to sell. You're wearing the shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I might have to sell um, my Wolverine first Wolverine in order to get the X one book. Yeah. So- Okay. Listen, I gotta go eat dinner with my family. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, all right. Let yeah, me... I'll send you my address, Ryan. You can just send it my way. This is a good one, guys. Yeah, that, that one's pretty. Yeah, that yeah, one, that that's great. Dope. That's amazing. Um, Sean, while I'm pulling, the, while I'm pulling the winner, Sean, what do you, what do you got going? Anything super spectacular? Uh, since I've been playing Elden Ring, I heard there were a bunch of different Berserk references in that game, so I'm gonna start watching it finally. Oh, is that true? Wow. You've never seen Berserk? I have not seen Berserk. The only thing I it know about amazing. Berserk is the video game I played on Sega Dreamcast years ago. <laughs> and, uh, Berserk, the Sword of Guts. Yes. And a buddy texted me how he uh, after he finished watching Morbius last night. So I wanted to watch something that was bad on purpose. So I watched Dark Man before I came on here. Oh, that's Dude, a great just, movie. That movie man fucking rocks. Yeah, that just, movie just, was fucking uh, awesome. Just today, God, how I fucking mean. awesome that movie was. I think Dark it was Man's just today. They just dropped a Red Letter Media review about it. Yep. Yeah, yeah dude. I, yeah. And, I, and it wasn't until I saw that video, I didn't realize the reason Sam Raimi did Dark Man was because he actually wanted to make a shadow movie. Oh, oh really? Right. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, the um, shadow movie's trash, though. Dark Man that's felt that's like why Dark, Dark Man's Man. the the better shadow movie. Um, Plus, Bruce Campbell shows up at the very end as uh, Liam Neeson's last uh, disguise. That's so good. <laughs> I love that so much. Ryan Stegman, your Morbius drawing is going. Hey, drum roll! Through. Drum roll! Grant uh, Woodard, who is a Grant ghost Woodard. astronomer. So. Yay, Grant! You did it, buddy! <laughs> yeah! Ryan's You're right. at like an 11. I'm going to need you to take it to like a 6. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone thing. made fun of me last week for sounding apathetic. So, <laughs> I... And yeah, Greg from last week! You did it! <laughs> so, there we go. So, awesome. Congrats, Grant. Uh, also, all of the previous winners, I've got your stuff. It's happening. They're shipping out very soon. Look out for the emails about shipping information. You'll get your stuff in the near future. Griffin, you guys um, take a picture of all of the different uh, final pages just together in one stack. I should. It's it's quite a, it's quite a box of goodies that I've got with me. Um, a fuck Griffin, ton of CGC you... graded scorched number I'm one. I'm leaving. Bye, Goodbye, Ryan. 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 <laughs> Bye. We'll end it. Just Bye, go. Just hey, go. Griffin, if you send me or one of the Ryan's drawings, I will send you this. Spider-Man 36 that I promised. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, done. Done. Ooh, what everybody needs to understand is that whenever the sketches need to be sent out, Grant has to go to Ryan's house, and Ryan has just thrown the sketch somewhere into his office, <laughs> and R- Griffin has to do a sort of a scavenger hunt. Uh, hey guys, keep in mind, we are still live, by the way. <laughs> We're live. No, I know. I know. So there's gonna be it's important for everyone to know. Little sketches here and there, right? Bonus yeah, sketches, yeah, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at some point, I gotta win something, right? Right. That's I'm the a, statistically. Like statistically, I'm a, yeah. I'm Stay a ghost subscriber. I'm here every week. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, but you don't like Tyler Creator though, so that's that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's end the stream. We're gonna say bye to the stream. Bye, bye stream. Bye, 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 stream. B